Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about head injuries, what to do if you have a head injury. Now, this is an acupressure technique, okay? And you're going to need someone to do this on you. So the person that's doing it should be watching the video to go ahead and walk you through it. Um, here's the principle. Um, there's many different things that can happen to the head. You could actually have a, a car accident where your, your front end of your head hits the windshield or the back part or a blow to the skull, or falling on the top of the head, you name it. All sorts of things can happen to the skull. Um, there are little joints in the skull, right through here, down here, called sutures. And believe it or not, there's a lot of tension that can build up in the skull, even around these sutures, long after the injury. So here you are, you got hit in the head with something 20 years ago, and it's still being a problem in the form of a uh, kind of a heaviness, a headache, uh, tension. And so this technique can give you a lot of relief, okay? You just got to try it. So the first thing you're going to do is just kind of for general head injuries, you're going to take the thumb and you're going to press forward up to, and I'm going to just show you. So you're going to press upward, okay, this way, okay? So you're going to just press upward and hold the front of the head and lift upward and hold that for maybe, I don't know, 10 seconds. Okay, and then you're going to slowly inch up, 10 more seconds, inch up, 10 more seconds, and I'm pressing this way, and you're pushing like all this old stress up to the center of the head, okay? You're pressing up this way, and you just spend your time, and you push upward this way. Now, the person's going to get a lot of relief, they're going to feel really good, and they're going to get a sense of relief and more space in their skull, okay? So you're going to keep going up through here, inching all the way until you get to the front, okay? So that's the first technique. Um, now, if you had injury to a part of the head, let's say right here, what you wanna do, if the injury's right here, you wanna press into the injury this way from different angles, okay? So you're just gonna press in this way, that way, with that force, and you're gonna hold that for um, you know a few minutes, and then press this way, okay? So if you press in there, it's going to help kind of release that tension, that stuck tension in the uh, head. The other thing you want to do, if you got hit right here, for example, you want to press on the opposite side, okay, the opposite side, the mirror image side. So wherever you got hit on this side, you press on the opposite side, and that will give you a lot of relief, okay? That's the, the next thing you do. If you get hit right on the top of the head, you're not going to press on the opposite, so you're going to go towards the injury. Okay, this way, this way, and this way, and this way. You're going to hold that right through in there. Now, if you actually got hit in the, 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 the nose or the uh, eyebrows or the forehead, you can press your thumb down this way and press it all the way into this way right through in here. Press it down, okay? A lot of times I'll see people that have scars right here or here because of an old injury to the head. You can press on the opposite side. I'm telling you, this gives people a tremendous amount of relief. If you get hit in the nose, you want to press into the nose. So the bones that attach to the cartilage right through here, you want to press through here, through here, up into the injury. Okay? Dental, same thing, press down into the teeth through here. Okay? So those are some simple things you can do to the skull to give people a tremendous amount of relief. You're going to find that they're going to sleep better. Um, they're going to actually uh, feel calmer. They're going to reduce their stress. All right, go ahead and try this and comment below. Hey guys, I want to talk about these two books right here. Okay, I want to explain it. This book right here is a very short book. It explains why to do keto and how to do it. It's filled with pictures. You can get through this in 45 minutes, real quick. It's just very important to know the details, the basics of how to do it. Now this book, The New Body Type Guide, should have been called Beyond Keto because I rarely find someone that has just a weight problem. They usually have a lot of other body problems. And in this book, I cover all the reasons why keto and intermittent fasting might not work for you. We go into the body types, we go into inflammation, we go into stress, hardcore, and what to do about it. So if you wanna maximize your results, you definitely wanna get this one right here, okay? So my goal is to get you to do keto correctly. And what I mean by that is do it healthily. It's called healthy ketosis. So we can avoid all the issues 
that happen with transitioning the fat burning. Keto flu, keto fatigue, keto rash, kidney stones, gout, etc. And right now on my website, if you get this, you get this at no extra cost. I put a link down below. Check it out.